Zay, Joe here. Um, preparation for the apparent snowstorm tomorrow. Sun is out. It's kind of a little bit blindy. <clears throat> I have a bad headache. Good times. And yes, so let us see what uh, today brings. Frisbee. Okay, so let's see. Um, my brother and I have this thing with frisbees, so they have to be regulation frisbees, as in regulation ultimate frisbee frisbees. So it's 175 grams of frisbee. Okay, if it's more or less, that is not a real frisbee. I don't know why. It's just this thing we have with frisbees. I. That's all I can really explain. So, um, can jam, can jam is a big thing in our house, and uh, we bring it everywhere we go, everyone's house, everyone's you know, there's a party or something. Specifically, spring summer, and it's just, it gets intense. So there's always competitions at our house in the street, and we live under. Um, there's a, a street light like right by our basketball hoop. So we always play right under it, and you know, but the early, the latest game we probably ever played till was probably three in the morning. And of course, neighbors complain, which is entertaining, I guess, sometimes, but <laughs> not all the time. So, um, I think my greatest, greatest, hands down, my greatest frisbee moment, my greatest can jam moment. I was at a graduation party. June 22nd, 2012. I remember certain dates. Certain, you know, certain random dates. So, it was pouring that day. Absolutely pouring. And this girl whose house we were at, they have a, an in-ground pool. And so we decided to, um, a group of us guys decided to put one can in the, sh by the shallow end, like right on the, on the side. And the other can was on the diving board on the eight-foot side. And so... It became this thing there. It was such a challenge because if you undershot, it would clearly go into the water. And you would have to therefore jump into the water to get the frisbee. And if you overshot, then you're risking, you know, going over the fence or whatnot. Pouring rain, mind you, while this is still happening. Thunder and lightning out, too, as the game progressed. So the greatest time I ever slot for can jam with my wonderful frisbee. So I'm just looking behind all of you. It's right over there. Right there. Oh, a beautiful frisbee. Oh, so many good memories with that. And it cracked too, and I had to put tape on it. It hasn't been the same since. But that's the frisbee up there on my wall. It, uh, good time to put that frisbee. So this one moment, thunder and lightning, pouring rain, I slotted. Nobody believed it. There was only the four of us playing the game, because everybody else was inside at that point, because, you know, it's, it's raining, so, oh, let's be smart and, you know, go upstairs and not be in the rain. So... It was just, it was interesting <laughs> because the the three teammates aside from me, so the four of us together just were like, N wit ha couldn't even form words, let alone full sentences. It was so awesome. It was so much fun. So that was my greatest, um, my, my best slot in can jam, hands down. For those of you who don't know what can jam is, actually, first of all, you should be ashamed to call yourself human. Second of all, it might actually just be an American thing, so I apologize to you international folk who don't actually know what it is. Um, it is two plastic barrels, kind of. No top, no bottom. And there's a slot. Yay, why? Roughly. Yeah, that. That is a slot on the can. So the object is to, you know, throw the frisbee into the slot to win the game. Plus, you know, you're throwing points and stuff. So, uh, it's cool. It's primarily a beach game or a park game, but it's so much easier in the street because you can actually, like, bounce off the concrete to, to get it up. <laughs> to get it up. I'm secretly, you know, a child with an awesome hat, by the way. You guys know this hat? From Back to the Future. Changes colors. Um, so, yes, Frisbee. Fun times. And on that note, stay in our brahis.